Hi, this is Kristen Group with Estheceuticals. And today what we're gonna be doing is a fractional 1540 nanometer treatment, long name, um, for a little bit of anti-aging on our client's decollete, otherwise known as chest. Um, now, what today is really about is to showcase a couple of products that Estheceuticals has come out with to enhance uh, fractional treatments. As we know, fractional, whether it's non-ablative or ablative, um, puts little micro channels down into the skin. Um, once those micro channels are open, it is the perfect opportunity to put products in that can one, help um, with the healing of the skin, but also there's a very large molecule called native hyaluronic acid and um, it is about one to one and a half million Daltons. Daltons is a molecular weight. In order to penetrate the epidermis, something has to be underneath 500 Daltons. Um, now obviously one to one and a half million is not under 500, so there's no way hyaluronic acid is actually going to go into the epidermis. Now at Estheceuticals, we only use native hyaluronic acid, otherwise known as HA. Uh, the reason being is uh, there's something called low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. And what that is, is the companies that are using that in their products, somebody has chopped up the molecule into smaller pieces. And research has shown that low molecular weight HA actually can act as an inflammatory in the tissue. And that's not what we're trying to do. So at Estheceuticals, we made the decision to only use native HA. It is more expensive, but it's better for the body. Uh, native HA would be like uh, Restylane and Juvederm, um, one of the products that companies use for fillers. So once those microchannels are actually open, it's the perfect opportunity to push hyaluronic acid into the skin, help increase the moisture content of it. But also we push in green tea and some other things like copper peptides to really help not only in collagen synthesis, which is one of the things we're trying to do, but also help in the healing of the skin. So I'm going to do a fractional treatment on our client's chest and um, we're going to do these in a couple little parts because we're going to do some photography at the end to see how fast the erythema, which is the redness, goes away. So after we put our um, uh, recovery treatment spray on the skin, then we also have a recovery cream that we sell to our clients to help with the irritation of the skin, help with the redness of the skin, because a lot of times fractionals will say red, depending on the person, for up to two days, and depending on the strength of the treatment. So it uses different things um, to help hydrate the skin and to help heal the skin, and it's a wonderful soothing treatment after a fractional treatment or after any type of skin irritation. So my client has her goggles on, I'm gonna get my gloves on, get my machine turned on, and we're gonna go ahead and start the treatment. And by the way, we don't do any products on the skin while we're doing the treatment because this hand piece is attracted to water. So if I put any product on the skin, that's what's gonna take the absorption. So we're gonna do it over the skin dry, and then we're gonna put our Estheceuticals products on. So we will be right back. How you do this treatment itself is you overlap 50% side to side and 25% um, or 20% up and down or in between rows. And we're going to do a couple of passes on her skin. You're going to start seeing her skin get a little bit pink and that is okay. And how are you doing? She's fine. So why would we do a fractional treatment? skin tone and texture. There's several different reasons. I see the difference here and right here. So I'm going to go over to my next section. And today what it's really about is not just our client. As she said, she is the most important part and it's true. Um, it's about product use and using 
using products with actual treatments to increase the efficacy of the treatments, but also decrease some of the damage or some of the collateral damage, as I like to call it, which would be um, what's being caused by the treatment. This treatment causes a lot of erythema in the skin. It causes a lot of heat in the skin and sometimes irritation. So what Estheceuticals, my company has done, is create products that help to take out the irritation, help with um, the collagen synthesis, because we're all trying to create more collagen, and to increase the healing, or to decrease the healing time. My machine is a little bit closer to me. So there's certain ingredients out there that help with that, and I think the ingredients have peer-reviewed research, and things like copper peptide, um, hyaluronic acid, green tea, um, niacinamide, which is a B3. There's lots of different products out there, ingredients, that when used properly, can really help change how your treatment outcome is or what your experience of your client is. So I am almost done with this treatment. start with our products. There you go. We are back after our fractional treatment and a couple of things. One right behind me is a time-lapse camera and we are doing some photography to see how fast the erythema leaves um, our client's skin. I've done her treatment but one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm changing out my gloves. You want to apply products with clean gloves. Now some people might say you could put the products on a 4x4 but the 4x4 is going to absorb a lot of the product and I want it to go onto her skin. So what I'm going to first use is the Estheceuticals Laser Ease Fractional Recovery Spray. So I'm just going to get a little bit and put it in my hands. And I'm actually only going to use it on half of her chest. So I'm going to pat it into the skin. And again, this product is a little bit um, brownish, kind of a, a orangey color. It goes into the skin. What I am doing with it is to be able to push the products, which the main ingredients in this product um, is the hyaluronic acid, uh, the copper peptide, um, and green tea and alpha lipoic acid. So these are all things that help to heal the skin, help with collagen synthesis. We want to take advantage of these microchannels that we've created. Once they're open, it's a great opportunity to put something in that you want to go in. Let's say I was doing a treatment for melasma, okay? Pregnancy masks sometimes caused by uh, birth control pills or hormone replacement therapy or even thyroid issues. If I was doing a fractional treatment for that condition, I would use my brightening um, cream, which is right back here. A combination of kojic acid, licorice root, um, niacinamide, um, all different brighteners. I don't use any hydroquinone. I would put that on the skin afterwards, trying to get this product to go into those micro channels, okay, to help lessen the pigmentation. So you have a couple of options. We are doing anti-aging, so I use the fractional recovery uh, spray. Now, once that that is absorbed, 
Can you feel any difference between one side or the other? This side definitely feels like it's cooling down. Okay, so she said the right side feels like it's cooling down. That's great. I'm going to put on top of it our fractional recovery cream. And this is a product that my good friend that's laying here has used um, with other skin irritations that she's had from um, topical uh, prescription drugs that are for skin and for skin cancers. Um, it really, really, was it Picada? Picada. Picada is like an Epidex or an Aldera. It really irritates the skin and what we have found is compliancy may go down. Um, so she was using this product after that and really noticed a difference in the hydration of her skin and the itchiness of the skin that it was lessened. So I think this is a wonderful product for skin irritations. It's got a lot of beneficial ingredients in it which are going to be the sea kelp, um, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, copper peptide, again epidermal growth factor. So things that are going to help with the cells turnover, um, things that are going to help with the collagen synthesis, and things that are going to help with the irritation and the inflammation in the skin. So we've got her recovery cream on and we've got the um, treatment spray on. These are both with the Estheceutical Laser Ease line. Um, just like all of our other laser ease products, these are not machine specific, they are treatment specific. So our fractional recovery cream and our fractional treatment spray will work with any fractional machine, um, ablative or non-ablative. And by the way, one of the things that people are doing after an ablative treatment is also using a higher concentration of vitamin C. Um, so we do have that product also if that's what your office is doing in its protocol. Now, what do you think of how it's feeling one side versus the other? Um, the right side feels normal now and the left side feels warm as well. Does it feel like it's itchy or anything? Um, it kind of feels like a sunburn on the left side. And you know, I'm going to make her sit like this for a little bit because I'm not the nicest friend in the world. Um, <laughs> I want to see with the cameras what this is doing. If I was like the really nice person, I'd probably put it on the whole area. And if she was just my client coming in and we weren't filming this, that's what I would do as I would put the product on the whole area. Um, now retailing, what can you do with this? You can retail the recovery cream. The um, treatment spray, could you use it for retail? Yes, you could. Probably not going to be though. It's probably going to be just a back bar item. Uh, but the recovery cream is definitely something that you want to send home with your client um, to help with the irritation. What I found with, is, again, fractional treatments is sometimes the skin will stay irritated and red for up to two days. One patient I had years ago, she stayed red for about five days. Um, so what I usually have them do is apply the recovery cream, a fractional recovery cream, two times a day usually. Um, when they, in the morning, sometimes it does make the makeup go on a little bit, eh, but most of the time with a fractional, you aren't using makeup, so it's still okay. Um, and then before bedtime, and it's really helping the hydration. And one thing also I noticed with, after a fractional treatment is about three days post, the skin gets really itchy, okay? So it, it tends to, when it's healing, to become kind of itchy. I know when I've done stretch marks on my hips and stuff, I just wanna claw them off. Um, Basically at that point, the only choice that you have is a hydrocortisone cream. Well, this gives your client another option. So when they put this cream on, it feels very soothing, very hydrating, um, and again, it's really good for their skin. So we're going to let the camera go just a little bit more. She's still erythemic on both sides, but again, it very well may be that she is because her skin does tend to get pretty red. Um, but I notice, you know, from her point of view that the irritation's coming down, the heat feels like it's coming down, um, and that's always a good sign. So this is Chris Group with Estheceuticals, and thank you so much for um, viewing our Fractional 1540 treatment with our Estheceuticals Laser Ease Fractional Treatment Spray and our Estheceuticals Laser Ease Fractional Recovery Cream. Thanks so much.